What's going on guys, welcome to Arsenal Fan TV and before I start this video I'd just like to quickly apologise for not doing a preview for this game, I haven't had all that much time over the Christmas period, um, I'm sure you'll respect that but this was one hell of an entertaining game, West Ham uh, v Arsenal, it was a totally different style of game to what we saw the other night against Chelsea, West Ham were really up for the three points in this one. When you're facing a team that is battling against relegation, they're always going to come at you and they're always going to be fighting for those vital three points. And they showed that today. However, Arsenal, um, very good lineup, extremely strong one. And I'm surprised we actually kept Olivier Giroud in that team. And uh, for me, I thought Giroud today, he, um, you know, he reflected so much that he was tired. And we have to give the guy a break at some point. He's played so many games in a row. And no, he didn't have a great performance. Yeah, he did miss a couple of chances. But to be fair, I'm trying to take into, into consideration that uh, you know we've had a lot of strikers out injured for the moment. With Podolski coming back, he can afford to rest now. He hasn't scored a goal in a, in a while now in about five games. So, you know, maybe when we play Newcastle, maybe play Podolski there. Maybe even play Nicholas Bender. Because Bender, for me, hasn't actually put a foot wrong for Arsenal just yet, uh, especially coming off the bench recently, that is recently, Bentner hasn't done anything wrong, he's put in some decent performances when coming off the bench and why not give him a chance and if not, at least you've got the guarantee of having someone like Olivier Giroud on the bench, but he, he, uh, my, my point there is Giroud has got to have a rest. But that first half today, it was all Arsenal, that we dominated the game, uh, especially in that first period, but one thing that constantly happened on the pitch and we constantly gave the ball away. It's ridiculous. We were creating our own problems and that's what frustrated me so much. We were doing so much with the ball, making all these lovely triangles of movement and then you know someone like Ramsey or someone like Cazorla goes and gives it away and it was so frustrating to watch because the West Ham defence weren't having to do anything because we were either passing it straight to them or running straight into their defenders and they weren't even having to make the tackles. Um, I mean, Walcott arguably had the best chance of the game. He's a lovely looping ball by Aaron Ramsey up towards him. And, you know, he really has got to be testing the keeper from there. He didn't do that. But later on, he redeemed himself in the game. Get on to that a bit later, though. But that first half, there was no real end product for Arsenal after what had been absolute uh, an absolute rampage of dominant play. Second half, however... Um, it was a much more open game and you know we were extremely punished for not taking our chances Colton and Cole with you know, a bit of an odd goal really um, Kevin Nolan had a fantastic shot on goal questions raised here as to why no one was marking him um, but he had a great shot Chesney fumbled it and it was it was, it was an easy finish for Colton and Cole but a lot of people are going to blame Chesney, and yeah, it was a mistake, but to be fair, the guy has probably been one of our most consistent players this season. I'm not going to you know, get on his back too much, because he's definitely been outstanding for us, and he was really good the rest of that game, especially when West Ham did that um, cheeky little free-kick manoeuvre they do, and he, you know, he makes himself big. He, he doesn't put a foot wrong, so it's one mistake out of you know none that he's kind of made this season, but um, it, was, it was hard for us going to go down, and West Ham continued to pile pressure on us. And, you know, the result really couldn't have gone our way today because West Ham could have scored another two or three. That is a fact. I mean, they had a chance through uh, Kevin Nolan, I believe. Um, Matt Jarvis for them looked extremely dangerous on the left-hand side. And Carlton Cole came very close with a header. So we could have been 2-0 down by the 60th minute and it kind of would have been game over from there. But thankfully, they missed their chances and we carried on fighting. And it shows great character of the side really to carry on when you're a goal down away from home when there's a you know a really intimidating atmosphere at Upton Park. And we carried on with the game. Santi Cazorla for me in the second half was exceptional, as was Muzza Ozil, as was Fiat Walcott. Those three players, they haven't actually played together uh, for Arsenal yet and they were absolutely outstanding for today. All three of them, especially in that second half. Glad to see Ozil getting involved a lot more. I think uh, there's a stat that he created eight chances today. That's absolutely great record for him and uh, I'm really hoping it continues. But we carried on and, you know, we got a goal through Theo Walker. It was about 10, 15 minutes later after we conceded. And, um, bit, bit, again, bit of an odd goal. Um, you know, credit to him for taking it around the defenders and then uh, finishing with his left foot. Adrian, the keeper, should have done a 100 times better. He really fumbled it. I mean, he got his hands on it, but then it just went through him. Um, but thankfully, it went in the back of the net. Theo Walker, you know, he's really coming back on the scene now. That's great to see because he could be one of our top goal scorers this season. Um, but it, it was a great finish by Walcott. 
like I said, the keeper should have done better, but you know, a goal's a goal, and it was one all, and it was really game on from there. But then again, West Ham, you know, they, they weren't threatening after that. It was only Arsenal. I don't get why that was. West Ham just kind of fell fell asleep and gave us the game. It was it was kind of simple from there on in, and we added pressure and pressure and pressure, and then um, got a bit of a blow really when Aaron Ramsey went off. I'm really hoping he's going to be uh, a bit better. That's um, not great news for him on his birthday, but. You know, he put in a decent performance today and uh, you know, at least it gives him a chance to rest over the festive period. Um, so hopefully he'll come back stronger. I think he'll be back maybe for the Spurs game. Not too sure yet. Wenger said he'll be out for a good couple of days, maybe weeks or so. But, um, you know, Podolsky came on and in his first game back to get an assist and a goal in a matter of, what, 20 minutes? Um, the guy's fantastic and he is so good to have back in the team. I always thought he was going to have a big season this season. And he had an excellent shift today. A great cross to the left-hand side. Took a deflection off Tompkins. And it was a simple finish for Walcott. Actually, saying that, it wasn't quite that, all that simple. He had to get in the air. And for a small bloke, um, pretty hard to do. But he powered it past the keeper. 2-1 up. And it was all Arsenal from then. We could have gone on and scored 3-4-5. Um, Cazorla had a good chance on goal. And he was absolutely... Like I said, I already said he was phenomenal. But can't stress enough quite how good it is to have him back. To have Podolsky back. And to have Walcott back all playing at the top of their game because it was great to see today. As well as that, um, Thomas Vermeulen, again for me, another player that didn't put a foot wrong. There were times when he looked a little shaky, but he didn't do anything to to, uh, to, to, to criticise at all. And, you know, that um, Merzaka Vermeulen partnership is a decent one. And it's one I'd like to see a bit more this season because Vermeulen, like, like I've said many times before, is an absolute class player and he showed it yet again today. Um, but, you know, we really did rampage from there on in. Podolski, it was great work. I think it was Olivier Giroud who'd been having a relatively quiet game, playing it back to Podolski, and it was a beautiful, beautiful finish. Uh, we've seen him do that so many times. Quite a similar goal to what he scored against Fulham, and it was it's just great to have him scoring again. It gives us so many more options. I mean, against Newcastle, we could play Walcott, Podolski, you know, Cazorla up front, and that would be really exciting to watch. I would love to see Podolski play as a striker because he's really up for it now, and he's got the goals in him. And Giroud does need a rest, so it is absolutely great to have these options. Um, but it's a great victory today, and uh, Nicholas Bender, when he came off the bench, another player that was absolutely relishing a goal. Another reason why I wanted to play against Newcastle is because he wants to score. You know, you see him uh, today just screaming for the ball. He wants to get a goal. He wants his confidence, and he looks confident. I mean, he's got the belief in himself. If he can put that into into the actual game, then why not give him give him a run out? I mean. Newcastle away is going to be extremely tough. They've had a great win today. They're going to be flying with confidence. But again, they're another team that we can put to bed. Um, but, you know, today is a great win. We're top of the Barclays Premier League for now, uh, dependent on the Liverpool game. Um, you know, let, let's let's be glad and hopefully we can be top of the league come New Year. Um, but those have been my thoughts on the West Ham versus Arsenal match. If you have enjoyed the video, it would be quality if you could click the like button. Subscribe for more videos. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.